Hi friends, welcome to the channel Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. Ashish here and today I will be covering a puzzle genre called Mini Pentomino Loops. So this puzzle was posted on WCPN website a few days ago and it's a 4 star puzzle constructed by Saskia Benedictus. So I really thank the author for giving me an opportunity to cover a video on our channel. So this puzzle is a 4 star puzzle and uh, 4 star puzzle on WCPN is a really uh, difficult rating. So this puzzle is going to be a really difficult one. So let's see if we are able to solve this puzzle. But I really love the theme of this puzzle. So if you see here a 2 and a 2 here, right, uh, 22 uh, hyphen here. So that's a really excellent theme here. And uh, with this, uh, the puzzle seems to be unique. So an excellent puzzle. Uh, I, I hope this is a really excellent puzzle and will be able to solve this puzzle. So before going to the puzzle, I would highly recommend you to please subscribe to the channel and shackling sudokus and puzzles if you haven't done so. It will really motivate us to cover videos on daily basis. And if at all you have a request for any sudoku variant or a puzzle genre, do let us know in the comment below and we will surely make a video on it. And we have also uh, opened a, a Patreon page for unshackling sudokus and puzzles. So if you could support us, please do so by subscribing to it. You will even receive a bonus sudokus every month, right? So all the patrons of the uh, Patreon page will receive bonus sudokus every month. And this this month we have posted a, a doppelganger sudoku. Uh, uh, so one uh, one grid and you will be able to solve uh, the sudoku twice. I mean to say different constraints, right? So uh, uh, leaving that behind, we will start uh, this uh, puzzle now. So before going to the puzzle, let us see what are the rules of this puzzle. So you have to draw closed loops. So uh, usually in a loop genre, you will see that you will have only one closed loop. But in this, you need to have 12 different loops. Every loop will form one pentomino. So there are 12 pentominoes here be, uh, below the rules as you can see. So you need to form a pentomino. So for example, uh, okay, just a second. Uh, just a second, I need to... Okay, use the tab. Okay, yeah, the tab is working now. So, for example, uh, yeah, this is one of pentomino here, right? So, such way you have to draw 12 pentominoes in such a way that the loop doesn't touch each other, two different loops doesn't touch each other even at corners, right? And uh, all the 12 pentominoes will have to be inside the grid. Right, and the numbers indicates the number of loop segments uh, adjacent to it. So same like the Slytherlink rules, but in Slytherlink you have only one loop. Here you need to have twelve loops, twelve small loops uh, indicating twelve different pentominoes. That's it. So very simple rules, and with that we'll start. Be we'll be able to start this puzzle, right? So the one thing that I do here is uh, mark the crosses here with the zeros. That will be very very helpful here for us right the next thing is normal basic uh, uh, slither link uh, techniques that we use right uh, two at the corner two at the corner uh, three uh, touching so whenever a loop end touches one point of the three the opposite two segments would have to be loop segments usual uh, the normal logic that we use there will be a cross here there will be a cross here and one line segment here. Okay. Okay. One more thing, important thing in this puzzle is uh, you will always have to make sure that uh, two loop ends of the same loop cannot be very far from each other because we know that they need to be, uh, you know. Uh, they need to be touching soon to form a five cell pentomino, right? So if you see here, this loop end and this loop end will always have to meet. But you have a cross here. How 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 you can make them meet here? You will be very big loop here. You will have a very big loop here. The minimum loop that you can have, the minimum cells of the loop you can have is this one, right? That's a really long. Uh, region that you have formed that is a long pentomino that is of course not possible which means these two loop ends will have to meet how could you make that happen there is in, there is only one way you need to touch both of these and you form an x pentomino here 
there is no other way you can make sure that these two loop ends meet to form a pentomino with the minimum cells possible the five cells you need to have only five cells within the uh, loop and there is only one way possible using connecting these two and you have only five cells here that's nice right so one one uh, pentomino is done here so uh, one important logic in this puzzle is to make sure that the loop ends doesn't go far away from each other that's the most important thing in loop uh, mini pentomino puzzles i have solved a few mini pentomino puzzles earlier and i would say a few of them were from wcpn yeah and uh, saying about the wcpn website i i forgot that wcpn website is a really an excellent website where many uh, authors one of the best authors uh, of around the world uh, actually post a puzzle or a sudoku on a daily basis and i would highly recommend you to please uh, check the website i'll add in uh, the link in the description below so you can even uh, subscribe to the website using the membership thing and you will uh, receive regular magazines monthly magazines of all the puzzles they post on the website plus the solutions right so they only post the puzzles but not the solutions but if you become a member you will always uh, get the access to the uh, solutions as well right so i highly recommend you to check the uh, website as well and now coming back to the puzzle here so as i said two loop ends will not go far away from each other so we got a loop here that will go up you have a cross here you will have a cross here now this loop if it does go this way you need to form a u pentomino to make sure that the loop ends meet but you have a branching here branching or an intersection is never ever possible which means this would have to go this way if it goes this way you form a l tetromino we need to form a pentomino right you form an l tetromino which means this one go this way come down here come down here you form an uh, f pentomino here already that's nice i'll mark all the crosses here uh, it's not necessary but i think that marking the crosses would really be helpful right and this will surely not go up and not go towards the left because you'll form a closed loop small closed loop it will go down this cannot uh, connect because you'll form an l tetromino and this forms a y pentomino right okay this is done same way a small closed loop will have to be formed here so which means this will have to go inside this will go inside you can either form a l v pentomino okay there are many possibilities here so just let us leave it as it is for now okay that is done a three line would be here like this of oh, it goes up the minimum way to connect these two dots is not at all possible there will be many many more than uh, five cells of course because because of the three year if not it would have been possible it would have been possible but because of the three it is not possible this three is taking the loop somewhere else the loop end is it is taking the loop end somewhere else so that is not possible which means the three cannot go up it cannot go up it would have to be this way and we get a cross here okay yeah that is a good thing one of the okay so we have a diagonal logic also used here in this puzzle that's excellent diagonal logic is quite difficult to see but you have a diagonal logic used here right so one of the loop ends so in slither link puzzle diagonal logic is the most important logic there are many puzzles n number of puzzles with uh, diagonal logic uh, where is uh, where n is a very high number i would say 
So diagonal logic is the most important logic in a Schlitzerlinger puzzle. And what is a diagonal logic? Many people actually don't see that and they are not aware of this diagonal logic. Let me say you what happens in the diagonal logic that is very much helpful here. So if you see this three, one of the loop ends will either uh, loop segment will either come here or come here. And this point at this point one loop that loop segment or that loop end will either go towards the two, right? So if it comes this way, it will either go this way. If it comes this way, it will either go this way. So in both the cases, one of the loop ends, loop segments will be for two. So right, one of the loop segments will be for two and the other loop segment will have to be one of these two segments. Again, that loop segment will either go this way or this way and you'll get one more loop segment here. The other loop segment for this two will either be this way or this way and that will give you one of the loop segments for one either this way or this way. So one is already getting one loop segment either towards the top or towards the right and other two will get cancelled out. Same way for this three. Right? Excellent. Now, is that helpful? Okay, so that is quite helpful I would say because because you cannot have crosses in any of these two cells the moment you have that these two ends cannot meet you won't be able to meet these loop two segments without having a contradiction right not at all possible even if you go the other way around these loop segments cannot meet having with just five cells so both of these would have to be uh, for sure so this is a cross now Come on. Okay. So if you have this way, it is possible. You got a V pentomino. Possible. If you have it this way, guys, it's not possible because this loop end and this loop end will meet either this way or this way, and you'll have more than five cells in that pentomino. That's excellent. That's quite difficult to see. I would say quite difficult to see. So which means you have a V pentomino here and this cannot be a V pentomino, which means for this two, it will either be this way or this way and it cannot be this way because it will form a V pentomino again. So it would have to be this way. Now it can be a P pentomino or a W pentomino. W would be this way and P would be this way, right? You're not sure of it yet. So this is done. Cross out here. This will go up. This will meet here this way or this way. And in both the cases, this cannot go towards the top. Or in other words, if it goes this way, you form a P pentomino. If it goes this way, you form a U pentomino. Right? Okay. So we are we are keeping it just this way for now and having a loop segment here this puzzle is quite difficult i would say even until this point it was not easy to uh, you know crack all the pentominos uh, the pentominos that we have cracked till this much it was not of course easy how many pentominos we have got one two three four five six one two three four five six and obvious pentominos are four, right? Can this loop segment go towards the right? What happens is, of course, this loop segment and this loop segment cannot meet. They can meet, of course, but within five cells is not possible because the minimum way possible is going again this way and you will have minimum of six cells here not possible i would say is not possible uh quite difficult which means this would go up okay again can this be a cross out here because again these two loop ends cannot at all meet 
they won't even meet uh, within 10 cells also i would say because you have all the crosses here no you cannot have this way because again same logic guys that is an excellent piece of logic here you have odd number of loop segments at the bottom you have odd number of loop segments at the bottom of course how many number of loop segments you have or how many number of loops you have there will always be even number of loop segments you have odd number 1 2 3 4 and 5 these two will meet to form a pentomino these two will meet to form a pentomino where will this loop segment meet it would have to meet this way and there is no way to go up which means this would have to be a way okay it's quite difficult it's not easy guys it's uh, this puzzle is not at all easy it's making me sweat like anything <laughs> i'm very good at slithering puzzles not very good i would say but i'm quite, st quite strong at slithering puzzles but still i'm unable to see what i'm missing i'm am i missing something with the number of uh pentominos but there are only six pentominos that we have got and obvious are four but we are not sure of it this can go this way okay can come down so if it comes down okay uh, I, I don't want to do that for now I'll have to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 this would be a different pentomino and this would be a different pentomino they cannot touch each other because there will be minimum of 6 cells 1 2 3 4 5 6 ok so these are two different pentomers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this can be 11 and 12 ok this two would surely have one pentomino that will use a different pentomino because this three cannot go towards the two not at all possible right this two somewhere that loops loop segment will form a pentomino a separate pentomino because this two cannot form a pentomino using this three either this segment this segment nothing neither this segment you have a pentomino here so that would be one two three four five this is a separate pentomino five six seven eight nine ten eleven so this is a single pentomino that is awesome this would have to be a single pentomino and that can only be an i pentomino this is kind of an intuition i would say totally an intuition puzzle at this point i am not sure if there is any other way but this seems to be an intuition kind of logic here for me 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 these two would have to be 12 and there is only one pair possible okay okay so we have done till this for now if you have this neither this can go neither this can go you will form a u pentomino okay both are not possible which means you cannot have this loop segment you will have this way cannot have both of these again as we said you have a different pentomino with, pentomino with the 2 here that 2 pentomino cannot connect to the 3 of course can that 2 pentomino connect with the 3 this 3 so you have uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right this would be 11 this can be 12 so there is one way that if this 3 connects with this 2 it is fine or else this 3 would have to connect with this 3 
uh, or else you will have 13 pentominoes again let me uh, just show you that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this is something 11 right both of these can be 12 or both of these can be 12 of course let's see if this 3 can connect it to this 2 we'll go this way we'll go this way go this way it is still possible but that 2 gets there is only one way possible right this is the only pentomino that can can connect but you already have that connection if there is a different pentomino you just 2 gets stranded out there is no other way which means this 3 would have to connect to this 3 it cannot come down come down this is done So this is one of the pentominoes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10, 11 and 12. So one these two would have to connect. Because this is 11, this is 12. So this two would have to connect. How can we do that? There are many other ways, many ways. So can it go towards this way? If it goes this way, Oh, this two would have three segments. That's not possible. This would come down. There is a cross mark here. If this comes down, would uh, we able to connect these two dots? Yeah, possible. If it goes this way. Oh, you won't have enough space for two pentominoes here. What is the best way possible to connect these two? And you have only four cells here. Okay, there is no possibility that you can have these two pentominoes within this small area. There is any other way to see it? No, it is not. Um, okay. No, there is no better way, which means this would have to come down and there is only one way P pentomino here, which means this cannot be V, cannot be P, this would have to be W pentomino. That P gives you this as a U pentomino. This would come down this way. This would go this way. Wow. This puzzle is getting solved here now. Not an easy puzzle. You have only two pentominoes remaining that is a Z pentomino and a T pentomino. Yeah, a Z and a T. Okay, a Z pentomino will always have two diagonal cells used with one cell apart, which means if this is a Z pentomino, this two would have to be part of the Z pentomino, right? Either this way. Or this way and in both the cases you have a branching here or this two would have to be a three clue right so which means this would have to be a T pentomino there are two ways to do that either this way which is correct or this way which is also correct ah but this two is getting a contradiction here right this is not correct this is actually the T is correct but this loop segment cannot go anywhere and in that case yeah it can go this way that's why so which means this is a z pentomino wow that was a really incredible very insane crazy puzzle guys what an excellent puzzle by saskia i really thank the author for such a wonderful puzzle amazing puzzle guys amazing puzzle so this was really a four star puzzle i would say not an easy one so i hope you enjoyed this video excuse me do like and comment if you want us to solve any other sudoku variant or a puzzle genre and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you